The drug ivermectin, which has been long used for veterinary treatment of parasites, has come under the spotlight after calls for it to be included as part of Malaysia's list of treatments for COVID-19. With clinical trials being done globally, some have argued that the use of the drug have helped certain countries to manage their COVID-19 cases. However, does the sign match the argument? We speak to Public Health Specialist Professor Dr. Sharifa. So a lot of studies have said that, you know, ivermectin can also be used to treat COVID. Now, the issue is that uh, a lot of these studies are inconclusive. That means um, it's not really matched. Uh, some of them are using different dosing. Some of them are using different severity levels. And, you know, certain others are using different population and so on. So the issue is that um, we need to have a standardized so-called a randomized control trial. This is where the best so-called power of study is. So some of the randomized control trials are available, but again, uh, some of them are again <laughs> inconclusive. Some of them, a lot of them has actually shown that it is it works, you know, um, but um, some of the so-called the world organization, so things like uh, WHO, um, even US FDA and things like that, have not really uh, approved it for human consumptions in the sense that we're going to treat it for COVID. Health Minister Dato Sri Dr. Adam Baba said that clinical studies have been initiated at 18 government hospitals. A total of 500 high-risk and mildly symptomatic COVID-19 patients are involved in the trial to determine the safety and efficacy of the drug to treat COVID-19 patients. He added that the results of these trials would be available in September. The ministry has also clarified that as of now, ivermectin is only allowed to be used on an off-label basis. You can use it under off-label medication in Ministry of Health, but the patients cannot actually demand it from the doctors saying that, oh, I'm admitted for COVID, I want you to treat me with, with ivermectin. We cannot do that. It depends very much on the doctor's purview. So uh, at the moment, this is where the, the debate still is. We have to look at a few more studies, but I do agree that some of the studies are actually looks very promising. And I know a lot of, of doctors as well are actually uh, trying to push this drug uh, so that it can be dispensed for a lot of people. Uh, but we cannot just say that we can do that without proper um, trials and without proper guidance because that will be irresponsible for the government to do that. With ivermectin yet to gain clinical approval for human use, Dr. Sharifa urged for the public to trust evidence-based information on the drug and to be patient in waiting for the results from the Health Ministry's clinical trials. We have to follow uh, evidence-based um, medicine, or basically we have to follow what um, trials have shown, you know, results from other studies and things like that. We cannot just say a few anecdotal evidence and say, oh, it's good enough for us. Um, we have to be very careful. Uh, so in that sense, I have to really uh, tell our public to be uh, very wary about all this information. And uh, please follow the latest development. And I do agree that if this is good and we have enough evidence to say that it does, I do urge the government to actually propose this as one of the treatment for COVID. Um, we, we cannot deny this it, since this is very cost effective. It's very cheap. You know, it is relatively safe, um, but we don't have enough evidence yet. We have to wait for a while until we get more data and, and later on maybe we can actually um, put this into one of our essential medicine for, for COVID as well. So um, it, there's pros and cons for everything. So um, I would say that take it with a pinch of salt. Um, do not be too dependent on ivermectin. It comes with side effects as well. So um, please follow the, the latest available um, so-called uh, review.